Hey everyone, I wanted to contribute to the YouTube world here. I'm working on a GE dishwasher. Uh, I don't remember the part number off the top of my head, but basically it's a common dishwasher. It's two years old, made in 2020, and it has this wash pump service kit, this WD19X25700. And the problem with all of these is that that little elbow right there is what fails and here it is it was leaking all over our floor into our basement ceiling because this little boot has a failure it's common and you cannot buy this from ge you can't buy it because it's part of this pump assembly this entire pump assembly right here as depicted in that diagram so what i did is i said all right what do i know that's 90 degrees like this that would uh, be almost the same size on both ends. This is about an inch and 60 thousandths and this is about 950 thousandths, whatever that is in metric, I'm sure. So I thought about going to the auto parts store and just looking at any heater hose assembly on the rack. This one happens to be a Gates 24565 and it has this funky fitting on the end. I don't even care. All I was looking for is it had a 90 degree piece on here and that 90 degree piece looked exactly like this because it had a flared end to go over a hose just like this. But this side's not 90 degrees. This side was 90 degrees. So go to your auto parts store, find these heater hoses, just go behind the counter, ask them to go behind the counter and just find one of these that has a 90 on it that's flared on one end and this size on the other, whatever that is. So this is what I finished with. That piece right there, I just literally cut it off of the end of that formed and fitted hose because you'll never get a bend this tight. And that's the finished result. So I used two of the other style clamps. It came with these style clamps. And if you're not familiar with these, it's pretty common. It's, it's a clamp that requires this kind of, of a clamp tool. It also has a remover tool on the side. You can, it's a side cutter. You can use any type of side cutter, uh, wire cutters, snips, etc. And these will come off. I didn't have any this size or I'd have put it back on. They're pretty strong clamps. So these are a little big for the flange size, but it should work fine. So this is that kind of dishwasher. It's a, GDF 630 um, Again, it's made in probably 2020 only two years old. This is just turned 2023 um, That's the style of the bottom that it has it's pretty common in all these All right, so I'm going to start this thing and see if it's leaking still to tell back there but this was pouring water out the bottom I'm gonna see here in just a minute when it turns on I can't pull it out any further because that water line is attached hard lined but I'm pretty sure we're gonna be good I'm gonna try to sneak this back there to see That's it right there. As soon as it cycles on, we'll see if it works. It should be fine. Hopefully this helps you guys out because there's no point in buying that entire motor assembly right there for $100. That hose was about $24. And you can find a cheaper one uh, if it had the right ends on it and wasn't the hard molded end. it works all right <laughs> so pretty sure that works again good luck guys hope this helps you out in this video thanks